Good afternoon, happy Monday. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am just getting ready to head out to Target. This weekend I am heading to Portugal. I'm trying to basically pack everything into a carry-on suitcase. Since it's just me going this time, we just bought the basic fare on British Airways, so I didn't pay for a checked bag. So I'm hoping I can squeeze everything into a carry-on along with everything that I'm bringing for my family, a few things that they asked me to pick up. So I'm just heading to Target to pick up some small travel items, things like toothpaste. I think I want to purchase some of the little travel bottles as well so I can pour some of my like lotions and stuff into those bottles, that way I can just use them. And I'm also on the hunt for like a clear makeup bag. A lot of times I'll just throw everything into a Ziploc bag or I'll use the one that they give you at the airport. But I've seen a lot of people use these little travel clear makeup cases that seem to do the trick and they're not having to transport everything into a Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna see if they have some of those too. Before I head out, I was just gonna open up what arrived from Nordstrom this morning. I was just about to put this on. This is my summer Friday lip butter balm. I just picked this up a few days ago from Sephora and it is so, so, so good. I didn't really get the hype on this. I have recently been using, or I have for probably the last few months, is the Refi lip balm and I just found that it would dry out so quickly and I'm constantly having to apply. I apply this once in the morning and I kid you not, I do not need to really apply. I've just reapplied because I went to the gym and took a shower and everything so it washed off this morning but when I left the gym, I realized that it was still on my lips. So I highly, highly recommend this. Andrew's also used this. This is just the plain one in vanilla and it doesn't have a color or anything to it so it's just clear i think i might pick up the one that has a little bit of a pink tone to it but yeah definitely recommend this and it's a massive tube as well so i feel like it's going to last quite a while but the other day i realized i had some nordstrom notes so when you spend money on nordstrom you can collect notes or like points basically and they transfer in to dollars and i had a few of them to spend so i decided to go a little bougie and pick up a hand soap and hand lotion set from joe malone so this is going to be for our powder bathroom downstairs so i picked up the english pear and frasia is that how you say that the English pear soap and I paired it with the lotion as well. So these are both in the eight ounces, I think. Yeah, 8.5 ounces. I had a little tester tube of their lotion. I really, really, really loved it. So I thought, why not splurge and get both? And I think that they'll look quite nice too on the counter. Actually, let's go put them in there right now. I don't know how to make this. Oh, it's already, yeah. Let's go ahead and put it in there now. This is what they look like on. I have this little shelf. This is our powder bathroom. The lighting is not that great in here. Obviously, it doesn't have a window. But this is wallpaper from Emma Sharpley, I think, which is a UK designer. This is one of the first rooms that I did when we moved into this house. I'm pretty sure I filmed it um, in one of my first YouTube videos. It's wet because I just wiped it over, so it's just sliding. <laughs> Um, but this was the original soap that I had in here, which I think I'm going to keep this container because it's really cute. I'll maybe just fill it up and use it somewhere else. But I think the two there look quite nicely or quite nice along with the gold and wallpaper. So I think they look really cute. I think eventually I might just change this out to something else, a little bit more plain and simple just because the wallpaper has a lot going on. But yeah, this is my bathroom. I am gonna head out to Target now. I'm gonna pick up everything I need and then I think I have done a Walmart order, but other than that, I really don't have much else to do today. So I think I might pull out my suitcase today and kind of start pulling out everything that I want to pack and kind of see where we're at there. I have a few things going on at work this week, so I know that I'm quite busy. So whatever I can get done today would be really helpful and then it's less stress day of uh, when I'm heading to the airport later in the evening on Saturday. I've just come back from Target. I just went to get a few things. Jack Jack's meowing because it's almost dinner time, but then again, also not really. They got like an hour. <laughs> uh, hi, Cooper. <laughs> Cooper got a haircut the other day, so he has got his little summer haircut ready to go. It's starting to get a little bit hotter here, so we went and got him trimmed down a little bit shorter than usual just to kind of 
let it grow out a little bit. But anyways, let's go through what I picked up from Target. So I picked up a few cards. I picked up a new home card. I think these are all, yeah, these are all minted. I picked up this new home card for a friend. We're actually going to a barbecue the same day that I'm leaving around lunchtime. So I'm gonna be able to go to the barbecue and then head out to my flight. Then I picked up a birthday card for my mom and a Mother's Day card for my mom, which are quite funny, which I'm not gonna show because she watches these videos. And then I just picked up a wedding card for Andrew's mom. She gets married in May. So I figured I'd just grab that since I'm in Target because I don't really go to Target too much. It's kind of a little bit of ways out. I think I mentioned that before from where we live. We actually found out they're building one. They actually broke ground, I think, the other day. They're building one over here in our entire town. So that'll be good. Saying that, we really don't, like, I used to go to Target all the time, but now that we don't have one, I really don't miss it too much. I think what we really need over here is like a Whole Foods or like a Trader Joe's, which I know people are fighting for because we have like eight Publixes and Publix is just so expensive. Um, I think it'd be nice to have something a little bit different. I did pick up this sparkling water, which is the Target Good and Gather brand in an aluminum bottle. It's actually pretty good. Then, as I mentioned, I picked up this little clear travel kit. Now, Target had one too, but I liked this one. The Target brand, it felt like it was a little bit flimsy. It didn't have a zipper like this one has. It just had like the plastic, like your Ziploc bags, or it just has a little plastic thing that seals it shut, so I felt like that could break. So I just picked up this one from Sonia Cash I think you how to say it. So it's a little plastic container and then it comes with these little bottles which are useful to fill up some things i think i can put some like soap and stuff into them they also came with a spray bottle which is nice too and then a tiny little container that i can put some stuff in although i'm gonna go see my family um i do have to stop in london heading there and heading back so i wanted to bring some things that way i have stuff for when i'm not in Portugal because I did leave a lot of things in Portugal so I don't really need to bring too much. Then I picked up this cute little Easter basket. So there's some really cute ones but I felt like Andrew would appreciate this football. I need to make sure he doesn't watch this until I leave but it's just a little basket and I picked up some goodies. Let's see for this bag. So I just picked up some Sour Patch to put in here. We can kind of just do this now actually. I picked up the Spongebob Squarepants Krabby Patty. I feel like I always pick this up for like a stocking stuffer for him too. So, and then this cute little bitty pop, those little like pop heads that they have. This is like a little baby one, which I thought was quite cute. I don't know what it's gonna be. It just says Marvel. So put that in there. Reese's, cause Reese's is his favorite. Reese's are his favorite chocolates. Then I also picked up a Push Pop, just because we were talking about these not so long ago and how they're so good and they make your mouth water when you think about it, especially the ones that have like the sour, God, what are they called? They have like the sour juice that you put on top of the lollipop. Addicting, so bad for you. And then I also just picked up some of the Kinder Joy eggs as well that we can pop in here. And I did also grab some cream eggs. I'm not going to put them in this basket though because I want to eat one of them. But yeah, I think it's a cute little Easter basket. Then I picked up, I actually found, so I went to the women's clothing because I needed some more socks because all my socks have holes in them. So I just picked up a bunch of these no-show socks, mainly for the gym. All of my black, they were New Balance black no-show socks and they all have holes in them which is quite crazy because they're actually not that old. So I just picked up some new pair from Target and then I turned around and I saw that they had a bunch of leggings and I figured I'd pick up these flare leggings that look quite comfortable. I need to try them on and see if they fit. I did them in a size small, but I was thinking they're kind of nice to have around the house, but then also maybe for the plane because they're flare, they're not so tight around your legs. So they might be kind of comfy to have when flying. So I grabbed those. And I grabbed a bunch of little things. So I found these really cute little tums. I picked up some wet wipes because the plane is disgusting. <laughs> I picked up some Tylenol Extra Strength. 
Again, just a small little pocket size so I can bring them with me when I travel, but then I can also put them in my handbag when I get back. Now, I always pick up the Tresemme hairspray. I usually pick it up in the aluminum bottle, and the last few times that I've picked it up, it does not spray. Like by the time it sprays when I purchase it, and then by the time I get to my travel destination and I pull it out to use it, it literally won't spray. And I've tried so many different things, keeping the little nozzle in hot water, trying to pick at the little hole, and it just doesn't, I think it, the cans are just effective. So I found this plastic container that just has a spray, and it actually is hairspray as well. So I'm hoping that will be better. Picked up some toothpaste, a little travel toothbrush that it looks like it closes in on itself. It looks like the handle is like a case. So it closes in on itself, which is quite fancy. And then I just picked up some spray deodorant. I'm not a fan of spray deodorant, but I feel like this was just, oh, little nozzles falling off. A good option just while I'm traveling, just to be able to freshen up. And I think, oh, and then some Q-tips. You can always use Q-tips, but that's all I picked. So really just more so getting ready to head out this weekend. I am going to do a little bit of work and then I think I'm going to start organizing all my travel stuff and we'll see how far we get today. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I've just quickly finished getting ready. As I said yesterday, I have a long day at work today, but I do have about an hour before I head out. What I didn't do yesterday was anything that I said, so I did pull out my suitcase. I didn't start organizing anything. So while I have about an hour before I have to head out, I'm going to start doing that a little bit, and then I realize I have some time tomorrow as well, so we can kind of finish. So we can kind of finish this off tomorrow, but I'm gonna just carry this all upstairs instead of doing this yesterday andrew came home we had dinner and we started watching peaky blinders which i know we are really far behind on watching that because it's like six seasons deep now but we finished watching the bear yesterday or no we finished watching the bear a few days ago so we started watching peaky blinders um and we're only on like episode three so we're not that far into it but so far so good a little bit confusing at first but I've heard you gotta get through a few episodes and then it's kind of smooth sailing from there. Where should I, maybe I'll do, yeah, I'm gonna pull my suitcase out into the guest room. All right, so I need to fit everything that I need in this little suitcase. I still have the photo books that I bought a few vlogs ago, still in the wrapping, still haven't used them, but I will eventually get to doing that, but I'm going to pull out some stuff in my closet that I know for sure that I'm gonna bring. I actually need to put a wash on too because there's some stuff that I need to wash before packing. Maybe I'll do, let's do my toiletries first. Let me throw a wash on and then we'll do my toiletries and then we can do the clothes. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'm actually wearing a sweater today. It's one of the last days that's gonna be cold. I thought we were done with the cold weather because it's been really hot the last few days, but I went and walked Cooper this morning and it was in the 50s. Let me take this down. It was in the 50s and it's supposed to be low 60s all day. So I'm gonna just wear a sweater because it's already cold wear work to begin with and then I can just be comfy and cozy. Let's start with packing my toiletries. So you saw yesterday all the little goodies that I bought. So I'm gonna start kind of filling up these little containers and also packing like my makeup that I need to bring. Since I kind of keep my makeup simple, I can kind of just use it out of this for the next few days and then I can just zip it up on my way out. So I'm gonna bring a little mascara. I have these little travel sizes, so I'm gonna bring this one, yeah, this one's full. I'm gonna bring the little Milk Kush Mascara, which is actually really good, I'm wearing that right now. We'll bring a little bronzer. Well, actually, I need to get a new one of these because they're both, yeah, they're both at the very end. I could maybe make this last while I'm out there. I'm gonna bring my little Maybelline Eraser Concealer. And for blush, I might just, yeah, bring my K 
Cooper's drinking water. Bring my Merit Beauty blush in Beverly Hills. There's a hair. In terms of like foundation or anything, I'm not gonna bring any foundation. I'm just gonna go with my Elta MD Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 40 in it. I've recently been using this every day instead of using foundation. I do still also have the Merit Beauty Complexion Stick, but when the weather is a little bit cooler, my skin is quite dry and putting this on does not do well with dry skin. So I haven't been using this recently. What I did recently buy from Sephora the other day was I had to go in and buy another brow pencil. So I bought the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Strawburn, which I've talked about before. But I actually picked up the brow definer as well in the same color. It's more of like a gel versus like a pencil. And I've been using that recently and I actually quite like it. Does make my eyebrows quite darker than what I'm used to, but I think that's just because I'm not used to having darker eyebrows. I don't think that it looks weird. At least I don't think so. Uh, but I'm going to bring that with me and I'll bring the pencil too, just to kind of top that up. Bringing my um, eyelash curlers. And then in terms of brushes, I need my bronzer brush. I need my blush brush. This is from Rare Beauty. Maybe I could wash these before I go. We'll see how much time we have. I need, actually, I already have setting spray in Portugal, so I don't need to bring that. I'm gonna bring, I don't even need to bring eyeshadow. I think that's it. I think that's all I need to bring for makeup wise. Then I'll include my classic Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. So I'm just gonna bring that with me as well. And I think that's it for makeup. Now for toiletries, I have my little mini toothpaste. I am going to put in a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Cream into this little container. This little set is really cute because it also comes with a little spatula to scoop everything. So I'm going to scoop some of this into here. Like I said, I'm going to visit my family so my mom has most of like the creams and everything that I need to use, but I'm solely kind of doing this for the days that I'm in London, um, staying at the hotel at the airport so I have something to do my face with, and this is kind of nice because if I don't use everything that's in the container, I can scoop it out and just put it back into the main pot. I don't think I'm gonna do much more than this. I think that's plenty. So that is gonna be my magic cream. Maybe I'll get some more of these little handy dandy containers. I wish they came with a few more. I did keep my little magic serum container because I thought that I could kind of drop some into here when I'm traveling because it's the perfect size. So let's do that as well. I have the big one here. So I think I should be able to just kind of squeeze some in. And the same thing, whatever I don't use, I will obviously use another time. I don't think I need too much of this. I think that's plenty. I'm not going to fill it up all the way. I'm just going to do a little bit. But then that's perfect as well to go into my little travel bag. I don't need, while well, saying that, I probably should bring some makeup remover for when I'm in London. So let me squeeze some of this into this bottle. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Ultra Facial Cleanser. This is something new I've been trying. I actually tried this over Christmas with a little sample bottle and really, really enjoyed it. Typically for the last, I don't know, like 15 years, I've been using this Purity uh, One Step Facial Cleanser. I really, really do like this, but I just felt like it was time to kind of switch things up. So I just bought this that we've been using. So I'm just gonna squeeze some into here. These are little perfume samples. So I always get, when I order from Sephora, you always get those free samples. I will always pick up the perfumes if they're available. That way I can just throw them into my travel bag. Oh my gosh, something I did not mention. I, the other day, picked up the Saint Tropez Self Tanner in Supreme Violet. I saw a ton of really good reviews about this and saying that it gives you a really nice olive tan because I'm so pale. A lot of the tans can look quite orange when I first do them. And it takes like a day or two of showering for it to kind of fade really nicely. So I thought I would try this. I, I wish I took a video. I just did my legs and 
It did not blend. I literally looked like I had just stomped through like mud. It, I, it was crazy. And just how dark it looked on my legs and how it was not blending, I did not expect it to wash off really well. I went to bed and let it on, stayed, kept it on, I kept it on for eight hours and I washed it off. And surprisingly, it was blended. It looked quite nice. I think around my ankles, there was a couple streaks, but overall the legs were quite blended. But it was the lightest tan that I have ever had. Compared to the Saint Tropez Advanced Express Tan, which I quite often use, if not always use. I keep it on for three hours and then wash it off. This tan compared to this tan was completely different. This was so light. I don't even know. I have jeans on, so I don't even know if I can show you how. No, you're not gonna be able to see. Oh, you can kind of tell. So it's kind of gone a little bit streaky, but you can see the difference between my leg and my arm. So it is tan, it is a very nice tan, but I expected it to be a lot darker just based on how it goes on. It goes on extremely dark. You can kind of see the remnants of it on the cap. I am gonna try it again on my whole body and kind of see what it looks like, but I was scared to do it because I have to go to work this week and I just didn't not, I just didn't want to look like a freaking Oompa Loompa. But worst comes, to wor worst comes to worst, I'm gonna scrub it off and I'm just gonna go back to what I usually use, which is this Express Tan. I have a little bit left. Maybe I'll pick up another one on my way home today. But this is my go-to. I always put a little bit of tan on as I'm heading on a trip or something, just because it makes you feel better, you know? So. It's Thursday. I I was supposed to start this yesterday because that's when the packages got delivered, but I ended up having a really long day at work. I've just come upstairs because it's kind of midday now. And yesterday I received a package from Nasty Gal. This has a ton of dresses in it to try on for the Taylor Swift concert in May. I figured I would get some items now before I leave and then my outfit is picked. I don't have to worry about it or I have time to keep searching. I did find some really cute things in here. I find with like Nasty Gal and ASOS and stores like that that I need to just size up from my regular size. So that's what I did. So I'm hoping they fit. And then I also picked up a dress from Lulu's, something that I've never, I've never bought from before, but I picked up a dress for a wedding that we're going to in May as well. Again, just to get it off my to-do list that way when I come back from Portugal I can just have a chill out April with everything that we have going on and then we have everything sorted for the next few events I'm gonna try these on with you my battery's flashing so I'm gonna get a new battery as well but I'm gonna quickly try them on keep in mind I am not tan I have not washed my hair the only part of my body that's tan are my legs which I mentioned the other day when I tried that new tan it's kind of faded it does kind of look nice but just fair warning that I am not dressed or appropriate for trying on these outfits but I'm hoping that I can just kind of knock this out and pick out my outfit. So this first one, well, mo most of them are sequins, sequin dresses, and then I did pick up a two-piece pant and top that I'm gonna try as well. But this is the first one, which I think is really, really cute. I liked it on the website, so I'm hoping that it fits. I kind of like the V that it's giving. I don't know how it's gonna work in terms of like dancing and stuff. Maybe I'll use some fashion tape but I think that this is really cute, so we're gonna try it on. It has just different color sequins and then these cute shiny discs. I think it's very Taylor Swift era vibes. So let's try it on. Okay, this is the first one. Like I said, I am not tan. I really, really like this one. I like the length. It's super flowy. I definitely need to tape up here in some capacity, that way I can dance and move around and not feel like I'm gonna fall out of the dress, but I think that it's really cute. I'm also sunburned on the back of my back, so we're not gonna talk about that. But I really like this one. I like the shape of it. I think that it's really nice. So far, so good. Let's try on, this is the first one that I saw, which kind of made me go down a rabbit hole of these dresses. But this is the next one that I'm gonna try on. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look how cute these straps are. 
That was really cute. This is the next one. It is too small. Even though I sized up, I'm gonna have to size up again. I really, really like the straps of it, but, and the color of it too, but I'm thinking if it's tight to get on now, I'm not sure how much wiggle room there'll be if I size up. Maybe I'll order it and try and just see what it would look like. I just love the pattern, the colors, but I'm gonna try on the next one and see if that one fits too. Okay, this one is a no. <laughs> This is so tight. I think it's a really cute pattern, but just not my style. It is extremely tight. I think even if I size up, it's still going to be quite tight. I think that's just the style of the dress. I'll link all the dresses below in case you want to check them out. They were all pretty reasonable priced, and a lot of them were on sale. But yeah, it's a cute dress, just not my style. Okay, this is why I hate ordering online for clothes like this, because nothing ever comes in the fit that you expect. So I'm usually like a size two to four, depending on what store I shop in. Um, but with these stores, like I said, I always just go up a size. So I ordered everything in a size six. Still didn't fit. I feel like I have to go up to like a size 10, which is just insane that these places just make up their own sizing. I literally follow the size chart, go up a size and nothing fits. This is the top to the two piece. So it's really, really, pretty with all of the sequins and then it has all of the different colorful beading. I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like on the model. It's really, really nice. It is extremely heavy, so I feel like even if it fit, I don't know if I would want to wear it. The sleeves are humongous. Look how long they are. My hand doesn't even, my hand, look, I, this is as long as my hand is and look how much is left. They're really, really pretty, but definitely not for this concert. I feel like I'll probably get hot or it'll just feel really heavy. Same with the pants. They're like double the weight. Really pretty again, but they are so see-through. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but they are extremely see-through. You can kind of see the beads just through that. So I don't even know what undergarments you would wear. And again, they are extremely long. I have to hold them up to just under my bra to make them be the right length for me. I'm gonna be returning these, they're so heavy. To try on my dress now, hopefully this fits. This is from Lulu's and like I said, it's for wedding coming up. It looks like quite a big puffy dress online. I'm impressed that they can fit it in such a small package. Probably steam it a little bit because it's a little bit poofy here just from the way that it's been folded. But again, if I self tan, I think that it'll look really nice. And then I need to wear quite high heels. I'm on my tippy toes and it still kind of drags on the ground. But overall, I think that it's really pretty. It's definitely a dress that I could wear over and over again, which is what I was looking for. And I like the slit. It's got a slit in both of the layers of the dress. So it's really pretty and it flows really nicely as well. The under dress is like a, the darker pinky purple color, so it flows nicely with the top layer. I really like this. I'm gonna keep this. Like I said, I got it from Lulu's. I never bought anything from there, but I got it for $100, which is pretty good with a discount. So let me try it on with a pair of heels. Okay, not that these go with the dress, but these are like my tallest heels. So with these, height heels, it perfectly hits the floor. Cute. This is definitely a wear. So we're gonna keep this. I'm gonna return the other, number three and number four from Nasty Gal and number two, but I'll see if they have a bigger size and if anything, I'm gonna go with number one. See if there's anything else, but I think I'm set there. I'm gonna tidy everything away and then I think I'm gonna head to the gym. Tomorrow I am getting my hair cut and then I have to work in the evening, but I'll probably see you before I head out to the airport on Saturday. It is now Saturday. I've just hopped on to kind of end this video. I'm just literally about to head out to the airport. We went to a barbecue earlier today with some friends who have moved to our side of town, so that was really nice. And then we just came home and chilled out for a little bit before Andrew has to take me to the airport. I'm actually wearing the same sweater that I wore to the barbecue, and I've actually just switched it into the black 
leggings. Let me just show you. So when we were at the barbecue, I had this on with a white silky like dress underneath, which is actually how it came as a set. And then I've just thrown it on with some black leggings that I picked up from Target the other day, like I mentioned. I just gave them a wash. I think they're gonna be quite comfortable. And then I'm going to throw it on with, throw on my jacket as well. That way I can just kind of use it as an extra pillow or blanket if it's cold on the airplane. I did have a full face of makeup on earlier, but I've just washed it off and just put some tinted moisturizer on. I have a few blemishes here that are quite annoying. I did a self tanner yesterday. I actually did the one I was talking about earlier that was extremely, extremely dark. I should have taken a picture of me putting it on, but I'll insert a photo of what it looked like this morning before I rinsed it off. So it's really dark, but when you take it, when you wash everything off, it actually is not as dark as you would think. I don't even know if the lighting is gonna, it's not too dark. My hands still kind of need to fade a little bit. I did put a little bit of it on my face, which I regret doing because it was really hot the last couple days and then it got cold. So then my face kind of dried up and it have some blemishes. So when I put the self tanner on, the darkness of the self tanner went into all the little dry spots on my face. So that is fun. In person, it doesn't look too bad, but I think in the camera, it is not great, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. I'm flying on an airplane. When I get to London, I'm gonna just do a big face scrub. I have some of my Dr. Gross wipes in there. So I'll just do a full wipe and then hopefully by then it'll be able to get off most of the self tanner. I just put a little bit of the tinted moisturizer on just so that my face is somewhat similar to the rest of my body. But I am gonna head to the airport now. So I'm gonna end that this, so I'm gonna end this video here. I am gonna pick up when I get to the other side and I'll kinda do maybe like a weekly vlog or something while I'm in Portugal. But I'll start that when I get to London as I do have about a seven, eight hour layover before I head to Portugal. So I have booked a daily rate at the block hotel there which we've stayed there previously so i've booked that so hopefully i'll be able to get in as soon as i land and kind of refresh and take a nap but yeah so i'll see you guys on the other side thank you again for watching and i'll see you for the next one bye